You just finished getting an ECG on your patient or your tech hands you an ECG for your patient. Can you quickly look at it and differentiate a normal ECG from something deadly? Do you know when to escalate the situation and ensure that your provider is at bedside to look at the ECG? I'm not saying that you have to be a pro, but as a new ER nurse, you need to be at least able to recognize certain rhythms, recognize when ischemia is occurring and whether there are changes to the ECG. Today, I'll be going over my approach. Thank you for watching. So I start off with an initial impression. I know what normal sinus rhythm looks like. It starts off with the P wave followed by a QRS and then ends with the T wave. I know that a normal ECG does not have acid elevation or depression or T wave inversions. I know that it's regular, that each R wave is equal in length to the next one. I know that it's neither too fast or slow. So with my initial impression, I'm looking to see if it matches my image of what normal sinus rhythm looks like. Then if it doesn't, I start looking for specific things and rhythms that are deadly and or dangerous. So things that I'm looking for are whether the rhythm is sinus for ST elevation or depression, T wave inversions, as well as atrial fibrillation, then VTAC blocks, VFib, and whether the rate is too fast or too slow. First, my eyes jump to the QRS complex, specifically the R wave. Are the R waves the same distance from each other or is the distance irregular? And if it is irregular, could it be atrial fibrillation? Then I look at the QRS. Is the QRS wide? And if so, is it VTAG, a branch block, or is it a pace rhythm? After this, I look to see if there are P waves and if each P wave is followed by a QRS, essentially seeing that the impulse is originating in the atria. If not, is there some type of block going on or the P waves not followed by a QRS? Is the PR segment long or what's going on with it? What are the changes that I'm seeing? Then I go into seeing whether it's fast, slow, or normal. The normal heart rate is 60 to 100, but in unstable patients, I'm looking for a heart rate less than 50 or greater than 120s. Now I'll go and I'll look at the ST segments, looking for depressions or elevations, keeping an eye out for consecutive leads, as well as T wave inversions. Then I'll ask myself if I recognize a specific rhythm like V tag, AFib, or any of the blocks. If possible, I try to find an old ECG from the patient, checking to see if there are any changes. However, if your patient is ever unstable, get your provider at bedside and have them take a look at the ECG. Again, as a new ER nurse, you don't have to be a pro, but you need to at least be able to recognize certain rhythms when ischemia is occurring and whether there are changes to the ECG. So someone with more experience and qualifications aka your provider so they can read the ECG and make a care decision. If your organization offers an ECG course, I highly recommend that you take it. The more you know, the safer you can be for your patients and for yourself. Of course, your provider has the authority and the final say in making the final official reading. But I believe that as a new ER nurse, you need to be able to recognize what normal sinus rhythm looks like, what ischemia looks like, and what certain rhythms look like, so that you can go get your provider over to see the ECG faster, or that you can take it to them without delay when you believe something is off. Again, they have the final say, but I want you to recognize when certain things are off so that you can be faster in showing it to your provider so the patient gets care that they need in a more um, precise and fast way. Thank you for your time today. I hope that I was at least able to teach you one thing. If you want to keep learning, I've listed my favorite ER nursing related books in the description with my favorite being Sheehy's and the case files as well. Please take the time to watch my other videos. Also, if you would like to help support the channel, I have nursing stickers and shirts on Redbubble that you can check out again. Thank you for your time today. And as always, teamwork makes the dream work. And here at Emergency Chaos, we are proactive, not reactive.